I'm gonna talk about something called a generational train wreck. And I'm calling it a generational train wreck because the demographics in our country, the changing demographics in our country means that a contraction is all but inevitable. What that means is that because of our demographics, we're gonna to have to deal with a situation where it's gonna dramatically transform our economy and the workforce. And that's because we have a large generation, the largest generation called the baby boomers. These people came right after World War II. They're the biggest demographics, and because of their spending patterns, we've had huge economic booms because these people have entered peak production years, but because these people are getting older and they're reaching their 60s, uh, and they're going into retirement, and some of these people are gonna to start to pass away, we're gonna be dealing with a situation where we're gonna have a lot of our talent leaving the workforce, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the generation behind them are gonna be ready to fill in the gaps. I'll explain. Okay, what generally was supposed to happen in a healthy situation, let's just say these five dimes represent the generation after the baby boomers, and these pennies represent the baby boomers themselves. What typically happens is around age 55 or so, you have one out of the five uh, baby boomers, let's ignore these, start to, grad or start to uh, retire. As a result, you have the younger people step up. One of these five dimes step up and fills the gap. By age 60, you may have another person leave and you'll have another young person to, from the next generation step up. The workforce changes, constantly changes. By age 65, you may have two of these guys gone, retiring, and you have another two dimes, the, the next generation come up and fill in the gap. And of course, eventually at 75 or whatever, the last penny goes away and retires or passes away or whatever, and you have that dime step into place and you have a whole new workforce. And then you have another generation behind it and the pattern uh, pretty much repeats itself. Well, what's been going on with our generation is that a lot of job opportunities haven't really been there. So a lot of these older generations, a lot of these people are in a situation where they're supporting younger people and, they, and their financial situation hasn't allowed them to really retire. So when, it, when age 55 came around, you only had like one out of like the 14 pennies retire, leaving room possibly for one of these guys to step in. Uh, the problem is that because we relied on this generation so much for the economic booms when they were in their 40s and 50s and they're making big purchases, as they turn 60 and 65 and they retire, all these sales start to crash because these people stop spending their money on those big ticket items like houses and cars and stuff like that. Uh, what that means is that the economy has to adjust and the amount of positions available uh, decreases because these people aren't spending like they used to. So it's not like you have these people trying to fill up the positions of all these people. The, the, the economy is contracting and as a result, you have less positions really available. So even though this one person retired at 55, it didn't necessarily mean that somebody could really step up in the younger generation to fill in the gap. Now, by age 60, you have probably had maybe uh, another person retire. Well, maybe one spot comes open for this one young person to step in. By age 65, you have three people retire. But again, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have three positions available for these younger people to step up and fill. You may only have one. So the economy is shrinking. But you still, have a, you still have a certain demand from the younger generation. And what's happening is while these younger people are waiting, they're not getting their job qualifications, they're not getting the experience they need to really step up and fill this role anyway. All right? So by uh, age 70 or so, you have maybe another three people uh, retire. But then by that point, you have a generation behind them graduating. And now these people have to compete with those people. So now you have a lot more people battling a shrinker, uh, a, a smaller, battling a smaller market. So you may have one of these people step in, one of those people step in, and the economy starts to look like this, maybe. But you still have four people from that generation that came after the baby boomers left behind and haven't been able to find uh, reliable employment. A lot of these people are sitting on these jobs, a lot of the baby boomers are sitting on these jobs and uh, that's also uh, contributing uh, to a problem because young, the younger people aren't able to really get in there. So at some point, you end up with a problem where you have a big divide. You have a lot of people who are per almost permanently left out of the workforce, and that creates a huge social problem for our society. Now, eventually, 
these guys to be out of the workforce. But when they're out of the workforce, how many of these people will have the qualifications, experience to really get in there? And will there be another generation behind them coming in? You know, so you have all these people battling for maybe like, let's say three slots right here. You know, you know maybe you might have that. And that may be the new economy. You may have all these other people out of work. The problem with this is that you end up having more people who are out of work uh, with quality jobs and people with who are in work who are working with quality jobs uh, it creates an economic problem for governments it creates a financial problem for a number of institutions you simply need a certain amount of these people to really support the overall economy because governments can't exist without people actually uh, being creating things so that's a problem you're really going to be dealing with, with these generational problems uh, really the only real solution is to actually expand this role right here and create more slots, more businesses, uh, through more production. Then you can actually bring in more of these people. And that's the only way you can really do it. Or else you have to deal with a significant decline. And while dealing with a significant decline, you got to deal with the fact that there's going to be a lot of people out of work. So, you guys, tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And don't forget, the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. Bye.